pick up here on question number 19, which is area of polygons. So if you want to turn over to here, but I'm going to go ahead and answer at least this question. Uh, it's probably one that most of us would have had anyway. All right, it asks what fraction of the area of the square ABCD is shaded, and it gives us several other components to this. Um, we're going to find out. I'm going to go ahead and find out what the area of the entire square is anyway. And it is slightly confusing because it really doesn't look like a square. But um, if these are the same triangles all the way around, what I'm seeing here is that this would also be x right here, which means that this length is 2x plus x, which makes that length 3x. And because it's a square, this side would also be 3x. Okay, So the area of it is going to be length times width, 3x times 3x, which is going to give me an area of 9x squared. Now, in order to find the area of this, I really just need to find uh, that length of that hypotenuse. So that is essentially um, 1x squared plus 2x squared equals c squared. Well, 1x squared is really 1x squared plus 2x squared is really 4x squared equals c squared. So what I'm getting there is 5x squared equals c squared. So I would square root that. Right? And I'm going to get uh, radical, or sorry, uh, square root of, well, square root of 5x. Square root of 5x squared anyway. All right, so that's the length of one side is square root of 5x squared. Okay? So in order to find the area, I'm going to multiply that by square root of 5x squared. Okay? And what that's going to give me is 5x squared. Okay? So if we're asking for what fraction of the area of the square is shaded, that comes out as 5x squared over 9x squared. These x squareds are going to cancel out, leaving me with an answer of 5 ninths of it. Okay, does that help you out a little bit? All right, let's go on from there. Uh, let's see, two question number. This is Pythagorean theorem number one. Number one, this is a repeat, uh, so the answer to this question actually shows up earlier, but it is um, perimeter, so you need to find this length right here which is actually comes out as a 3, 4, 5. So it's a 9. Were you guys able to make out the numbers that were in there? Okay, good. So you're going to do 12 plus 12 plus 8 plus 5 plus 9 and get the 46. Okay. Number 2. Anybody need number 2? Nobody. Okay. Numbers 3 through 5. 3, 4, or 5. Nobody in here needs 3, 4, or 5. Okay? Usually number 5 comes up. You guys all did pretty good on number 5? Nobody that's going to say anything. Okay? All right. 6, 7, or 8. Go ahead. 6, what's it? 7, so 6 and 7 at least. Okay. A ramp goes from the edge of a dock to the edge of a ship's deck. If the ramp is... 25 feet long, and the deck of the ship is 7 feet above the dock. How many feet from the dock is the ship? So some of this comes down to kind of just understanding this. If this is my, you know, boat, right, and I've got a dock, okay, and I've got a ramp that is going to go from the dock to the ship, okay? So that should be at a right angle. Um, let's see, the, uh, if the ramp is 25 feet long and the deck of the ship is 7 feet above the dock, okay, so that's 7 feet there. How many feet away from the dock is the ship? That means I should be finding this, and we know that our hypotenuse is 25, okay? So we should get 7 squared plus x squared equals 25 squared. So we got 49 plus x squared equals... I want to say 625, 625 minus 49. Okay, what's 625 minus 49? What's that again? 576. 
Okay, we want the square root of 576. Is that 24? Yeah. Okay. So 24 is going to get that right there. A lot of folks um, have difficulty knowing where to put that 25 or just what the picture is supposed to look like. What are we actually talking about? What does that look like? So hopefully even just that picture should help you understand that question. Okay. Uh, we said 7 also. Okay. In this figure below, Q lies on PR, uh, angle PQS. Uh, what we're seeing is uh, this... QS uh, is an altitude of triangle PRS. Uh, let's see, what are we trying to find out? If PS is four units long, how many units long is Q, QS? Okay, so we got this guy right here. Uh, we've got a 30, 60, 90. So there's a couple of things that we could do with this uh, if I can figure it out. Okay. All right, what that means, if we're looking at this triangle right here, and this is a right angle, and this is 30, then this has to be 60, correct? Okay, which as hard as it may be to see, then this of that smaller triangle has to be 30 degrees. Right, because I've got a separate smaller right triangle here, but that 60 is still 60. Okay, so it makes this part right here 30 degrees. So let's come back to this. Okay, um, if I've got, let's call this 60, 30, and they're telling me then that the hypotenuse is 4, right? And we want to know what is this length. Okay, well, we know that what's opposite of 30 is going to be my hypotenuse divided by 2, correct? So what's 4 divided by 2? Two. And so the 60 side is my short side times radical 3, right? So I should get 2 radical 3. Does that help a little bit? Okay. Now that's the easiest way I know to solve that, but you have to understand your 30, 60, 90 triangles now to kind of divide that up. Yep. Trig functions? Yeah, you could use a trig function there also, I'm sure. But... If you know your ratios, I just jump straight to that with the 30, 60, 90. All right, what about number eight? Nobody on eight. Okay, nine or ten? Nobody nine or ten. Okay, what about 11 through 13? 11, 12, or 13? 12? If we have another one? No. 12. Okay. Given the information in the diagram below, including the fact that triangle BCD is isosceles, okay, well, that's, that's important because that's going to automatically show me that this is a 45, 45, 90, right? So then that's going to tell me, and I guess I need to look at what we're actually trying to solve for. Uh, it says, how many feet long is AB? All right, well, just automatically, I do know that this is 10 and this is 10, right, because of my ratios, okay? Uh, so this has to be 60, okay? If 30 is 10, right, opposite my 30 is 10, then I know that this is 20, right? 10 radical 3, okay? So just special right triangles. Okay, 10 radical 3J. Okay, 13. Nobody on 13. Okay. Uh, 14 through 17. Go ahead. 14, yep. In a 30, 60, 90 triangle, if the long leg has, has length 8 inches, how many inches long is the hypotenuse? All right, so let's draw this. 30, 60, 90. Uh, if the long leg is 8 inches. Right, but since they're asking me for the hypotenuse, it can't, can't be there, right? So we know that we're going to take 8 divided by radical 3, correct? 
right? And then we're going to double that. So we could write that, but we'd probably want to go ahead and rationalize it. So I should get, what, 8 radical 3 over 3 and then double it, right? So 8 radical 3 times 8, or sorry, times radical 3 over radical, th radical 3 is 8 radical 3 over 3. And then to get my hypotenuse, we need to double that. So we should get 16 thirds radical 3 right there. Okay? All right, what about 15 through 17? Oh, no, I don't want that. Ah, no. Go away. All right, so nobody on 15, 16, or 17. All right. What about 18 or 19? Oh, sorry. Wait. 18 through 19. We already did 19, right? Because that was a repeat. Uh, 18. Nobody on 18. And I think our last question is number 20. Number 20. Okay. All right. Uh, in triangle ABCD, shown below, C is on BD. The length of AD is 6 inches. Sine D equals 0 0.8. How many inches long is CD? So this is should be our trig functions if they're telling me that sine CD. So sine of angle D. Okay, well sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So what essentially we're saying is that um, 8 tenths, which is the same as what? 4 fifths? 4 fifths is equal to x over 6, right? Because from here, this is opposite. This is hypotenuse. So if it's 0 0.8, 0 0.8 is a fraction, is 4 fifths. That's got to equal x over my hypotenuse. And I have to find that before I can get down to here. So uh, we're going to get 5x equals 24. 24 divided by 5. Okay, uh, let's see. What's that come out to? 4.8. Okay, so x equals 4.8. Um, okay, we'll call it 4.8 for now. Does it come out to 4.8 even? Yeah. So that would be the same as what, 4 and 4 fifths, right? Okay, um, so if we want to find out what this guy is right here, okay? Um, all right, so this would be opposite over adjacent, so we could find, uh, let's see, I'm going to try to think about this here for a second. You could probably find out what the angle is, right, what the degree is, and find out what's equivalent to that. Um, let's see, how many inches long is CD? Okay. Um, yeah, you could use the Pythagorean theorem, and that may be the best way to do that here. Okay, let's do that because let's, the simplest way is probably going to be the best instead of trying to go back into our trig functions and do that. So we, let's say x squared plus 4.8 squared equals 6 squared. Okay, so x squared um, plus, I don't know what 4.8 squared is. Go ahead and give that to me. 23.04 and 36. So subtract 23.04 from 36. 12 point what? Okay, and what's the square root of 12.96? 3.6 and 3.6 is my answer. Okay? All right, so convert that trig function into a ratio, solve a proportion. Apply the Pythagorean theorem, and you are all set. So, okay. All right, that should give you everything that you guys need. I would go back and watch that first video.